In this video, we are going to be showing how to deploy a Laravel application from GitHub into a shared hosting account using cPanel. So in order for this to work, let me deploy the latest changes in my Laravel application and push that to GitHub first. So let me do CD to where my application is in my system directory. Okay, these are the recent changes I make. So let me add this up and then push it. Add tickets to events. I'll push this and this should reflect in my uh, GitHub. By the way, this is a private repository, not a public repository. So we're going to be deploying from a private repository. Let's check. Okay, push complete. Let me reload and see my changes. Yes, changes are reflected, showing now. Now let me log in into my cPanel account. You will log into the cPanel that you want to use and then what you would have to do. In this case, since it's a backend, I'm going to be deploying to a subdomain. I've already created a uh, subdomain before I started recording this video. There is it. I'm going to be deploying to api.vemark.com and then let me go back. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the the deployment keys that are needed for for this to work. And that would be SSH access. Yes, I'll need SSH access so that GitHub can communicate with my account okay generate a new key uh, there is something about uh, github when you want to create uh, a key uh, this your ssh keys github forces you to use um, key phrase that is the key password uh, i said github uh, cpanel forces you to use the key phrase but in this case we don't really need this key phrase we don't need a password for um, the key we want to use. So what we are, what we'll have to do is, if we do this and then we try to generate a key, it forces us to use it, and we don't necessarily need it. So I would open up my Dev tool. You can do this. Right click, Inspect Elements. Then the Dev tool will open up. I will take a look at where this password is, and I would remove this password completely from the DOM. Delete element. That is gone. And then delete element. You need to understand what we are doing here. We are basically removing the password field from the DOM. So you have to do the same. Ensure you do not delete the wrong stuff anyway. Okay, now that this is out of the way, I can now take this. Uh, Key size is okay, then I can generate my key. Okay, keys generated ID RSA. I will go back and then I will take the public key, I would authorize it, authorize the key, go back. Then I will come to my private keys. I'm going to view the key because, okay, this is not what I need, but by the way, this is good. I will take the public key. That is what I'll take to GitHub. And then I'll copy it. Copy. Now that this key is copied, I'll come to my GitHub account and I need to add this key to my GitHub so that I would be able to pull from GitHub into uh, cPanel. So for this, I'll come to my repository, I'll come to settings, and then I'll come to my deploy keys. Right now, I don't have any deploy keys. By the way, if you have access to these deploy keys, just know that after this video, I'm going to remove it. I'll just say event mark API, and then API to cPanel. I'll paste my public key here, the one I copied, and then I would say add. Now it's requesting for my authentication code. Let me open up 
my authenticator up so that I can authorize it. Okay, now I have this in cPanel, I'll in GitHub, then I'll come back to cPanel. From cPanel, I would need to pull the changes into Git, into cPanel, I need to pull these changes. Let me come back to my this. And then look for GitHub tools, Git version control. Yeah. Now I have my Git version control. Let me create the URL I want to clone. I'll come back to GitHub. I'll go to my code. And then I will copy the URL. So I'll be using the SSH URL. I'll copy this come here and then paste it this is going to no I created a a a directory that will be using for this so if I come to my file manager this is the directory we'll be using api.eventmark.com so I'll copy this and then I will put it in my version control. Sorry, API dot dot com. Yes, that is the directory. And repository name. Uh, it's fine. So I'll do create. So I hope this works. okay this didn't work because it says it already contained files but this didn't contain any file however it contains some folder so i'll take this and then take this then i would remove it i'll need boots then i'll give it a try again and say create because it already contained files let me reload this page I'm sure this doesn't contain any file right now. So uh the URL clone it. This is API and then eventmark backend and then create this. Okay, still telling me it already contains some files. So if you are facing this type of issue, uh, it simply means something is in the folder but for some reasons you can't see it so let's put up um, the settings and then show hidden files because this is probably the reason why we're not yes there is something there but it's hidden so let's delete it and then come back here try again yes it works we've successfully cloned our repository and if we come in here and reload the page yes we have everything for our repository here so the next stage is to set up our database set up um uh um whatever other services we are using if we're using redis we're using probably um uh, digital ocean species or aws s3 we set up all the services and whenever we push any new changes to um our our repository we can clone these changes into um uh cpanel so right now what i'm going to do is i'll open up this code and then i'll make some changes to i'll make some changes to the code and then push it to the repository so that we'll see how to redeploy so let me bring this code here I'll just pull up my readme file and then change something from readme. If I just say standalone API. 
I version one. Save this and then come here. I do git status and then git and git comment and then update readme from git push. Now we have a new change um, push to GitHub. What we're going to do now is to come to our C panel. We'll come to version control. Uh, under the version control, that is from our C panel. Can do version control git. Click on it. We'll come here. We'll see our git repository. We'll click on manage. So whenever something is pushed to uh, GitHub and we want to do deployment, probably we've done all our checks, we are sure that oh, it's time to deploy. All we just have to do is to come under pull or deploy and then we say update from remote. And this will pull the new changes from remote. Ta-da! Okay, it works. Here is it. Now the new changes have been pushed. By the way, you can't access this right now because I didn't put in the um, 